take a quick minute to show you how to create a Google Tag Manager container and put Google Analytics inside that container. So basically, how to use Google Tag Manager to uh, in install Google Analytics. So here I am in my Google Tag Manager account. You can get a free Google Tag Manager account using google.com slash tag manager. And I'm going to create a new container to put on a new website. And if you've ever used a container tag, um, it's basically a chunk of JavaScript that you put on your site. And then you put different types of tags into this container using a nice UI that you see before you here in Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to name my container uh, My Awesome Container. And that's basically all I need to do. I need to choose a country and a time zone. And then there's option to add different domains that basically you can list all the domains where you're going to install this container. But that's not necessary to get things up and running. So once I click Save, I should have my new container. And here it is. Like I mentioned, the container is really just a chunk of JavaScript. So what I need to do now is go put this piece of JavaScript on my website. And then I can start to put tags into it. And if you notice on the screen here, I've got a whole bunch of different tags that I can plug into it. I can put in AdWords tags, double-click tags, custom tags for other analytics tools, um, or a Google Analytics tag. And the nice thing here about a tag management system like Google Tag Manager is I can input a lot of the Google Analytics settings directly into Tag Manager and not have to worry about putting the JavaScript on my page. So if I click Google Analytics, I'm now setting up my Google Analytics tag through Google Tag Manager. So I have to name my tag. I'm just going to call it Google Analytics tag, really creative. The type's already been pre-selected for me as Google Analytics. Now I have to tell it the web property ID. And if you've used Google Analytics, you know that you have an account number. <clears throat> and there's a, another number called a web property ID. This is inside your Google Analytics account. You can log into Google Analytics and you should be able to easily find it. And I'm just going to make one up for, for right now. And now, that's basically all I need. Um, the web property ID, when I, uh, when I put that in, and Google, An Google Tag Manager, excuse me, renders a Google Analytics tag, it will have uh, the right web property ID so that the data will go back to my Google Analytics account. Scrolling down a little here, you can see that I can track a page view or an event. We're just going to focus on the page view right now. Um, that's the standard Google Analytics tracking. Um, we'll talk about events at a later time. And the last thing I need to set up down here is what's called a rule. Now, rules determine when your tags appear on pages. Um, basically, they tell the container to include a tag on a certain page. Now, for Google Analytics, I want my Google Analytics tag to appear on every single page on my website, right? Because I want to track all my pages. So, we've got a default rule here in, in Google Tag Manager called All Pages, which basically will include the Google Analytics tag that we're creating on every single page on my website. Um, other types of tags, like AdWords conversion tags, they should only appear on certain pages. And so I can create rules that will govern when tags appear. So Google Analytics, I want it on every page. Click Save. And that's it. So now I have uh, all the settings here. Once I click Save, I've created a Google Analytics tag inside of my Google Tag Manager container. Now, the Google Analytics tag is not automatically on my site. It's saved within my Google Tag Manager account. If I want to push it out to my site live, I need to do something called publishing. And that is in the next video. So I hope this helped you guys create a simple, basic Google Analytics tag using Google Tag Manager.